structure of the DNA molecule was first inferred by James Watson and Francis Crick, based primarily on X-ray crystallography data collected by Maurice Wilkins and Rosalind Franklin, and chemical analysis of base composition of DNA conducted by Erwin Shargaff. The key features of the structure are its right-handed double helical structure. Each helix consists of an alternating sugar phosphate backbone with nitrogen bases projecting toward the interior of each helix. One complete 360-degree turn of the helix covers 10 bases of length and equals 3.4 nanometers in physical distance along the axis of the molecule. The width of the double helix is 2 nanometers. The nucleotide bases are attached inside each backbone of the molecules so that the nucleotides in one helix or strand are hydrogen bonded to the bases in the other helix or strand. The hydrogen bonds hold the two strands of the double helix together. An adenine in one strand is always paired with a thymine in the other strand, and a guanine in the one strand is always paired with a cytosine in the other strand. Note that guanine cytosine base pairs form three hydrogen bonds, while adenine thymine base pairs form two hydrogen bonds. This makes guanine cytosine base pairs more stable than adenine thymine base pairs. Nucleotide pairing between strands also allows the sequence in one strand to determine the sequence in the complementary strand. The two ends of a strand are not identical. Note that on one end of each strand, a three prime hydroxyl group of the deoxyribose sugar is not involved in the backbone, or we say it's free. While at the other end of the same strand, the five prime hydroxyl group of the deoxyribose sugar at the end is free or may contain a phosphate that is free and not bonded to another deoxyribose sugar. This dissimilarity of the two ends of a strand creates the ability to uniquely distinguish each end of the strand. Because of this polarity of each strand, we can see that the two strands of DNA are oriented in opposite directions, or we say that they are anti-parallel. In three-dimensional space, the two helices are not equally spaced along the axis of the molecule, such that a major groove and a minor groove are created by the asymmetric spacing of the anti-parallel helix backbone. The major groove and minor groove play important roles in the binding of proteins that regulate gene transcription. 